I forgot like the sheer giddiness of a buffet. Dude, like I was so, I had adrenaline pumping through me. Like, like, because I haven't seen that much different cuisines of the world in one area. Like it was, I went to Italy, I went to China, I went to the Caribbean, I went to Japan, all in one thing. It was so gross. Like at one point, I would take a bite of orange chicken and then like cut into a ravioli with like cheese and meat. And you're, then, just, you're, you're excited. It was fucking amazing. Imagine the thrill of being like a 400 pound person. <laughs> And going somewhere like that, and you're like, "This is why we play the game. Like, this is, I know, I know. this is what it's all about." You know, and I and, like, see the, that the capacity they have, and they're just like, "This is everything." This is everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why I'm so like, <sighs> look, my inclination is to be 400 pounds. I would love to be 400 pounds and yeah. just give up, but I'm, I'm fighting the fight. I'm fighting the fucking middle age fight, and it's so hard to not go to the buffet and eat three plates. I ate three plates worth of shit. I was so what, stoked. What age do you think you'll sign the uh, fuck it like form? Where you're just if like, I make it to eighty. Oh, eighty. What? That's old. I thought you were gonna do it before then. So you'll you'll work until then. Oh, like, I'm sorry. Work like fight no, the I fight. Mean, I meant no. Put in the effort to like try to maintain. You think eighty? Eighties when you just fucking <sighs> throw in the towel. I'm eating McDonald's every day. Smoking. I'm going to pick up smoking cigarettes again at 80. I'm going to start taking oxys. I really like oxys. I'm going to start that up again. And then, <laughs> right? Because, like, who fucking cares if I OD? Yeah. I don't give a shit. My kids are fine. I'm going to do something, like, real crazy when I'm 80. I think what? I'll make it. Like, you know, by that time, the boys will be like, what's up with, <laughs> what's up with this will, you know? <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to get like a crazy boat and they'll be like, what the fuck is this? And I'll be like, <laughs> it's my money. Fuck you. You know, and be like, Screw how much out. was this? I'm like pretty much the whole fucking thing. <laughs> it's not much left. Okay. What kind of grades did you get? Yeah. I hope you have a good job. And they'll be like, well, I thought you were leaving it to me. No, no. I'm like, this, this is our money. This boat is fucking rad. <laughs> I'm going to go out to sea and die now. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I probably will die with a drug overdose. I feel like that would be the way to go. That's Especially, tight. you're going to die before me because men do. No, I mean, yeah. statistically speaking, the guy goes first. No, that's true. Statistically, it's true. So once you die, yeah. I think that's when I'll start to be like, fuck it, I'm weighing 500. I'm going to the Borgata buffet every weekend. I'm just chartering out. That is fucking one of the coolest things is like uh, eating like eating through like a, like a real, you know, like a death, like <laughs> grievance eating yeah. is like, it's real. <laughs> not only is it real, I'm saying it's a ra fucking rad way to go. You know, like if people are like, why, uh, what are you eating? You're like, my husband died. And then you're just like, rawr, rawr, and just eating like crazy 5,000 calorie meals. And shit. See, we always come up with great business ideas on yeah. the show. Yeah. Grief cruise, grief cruise. You, yeah. you get on, they hand you an oxy. Yeah. Or heroin. It's like it's like a tray of whatever you want. You start yeah. your drug use on the thing, but it's only a week, so you have to you have to you have like a week to really go It'd crazy. Be crazy if you can make someone's heart stop in a week just with food, though. <laughs> like not not the uh, the drugs, but like they bored and you like open your mouth <laughs> and you just shovel like foie gras, and they're like, oh god, <laughs> like they feel their system slowing down. They're like, woof. And you're like, there's going to be a lot more of that. <laughs> and it's just yeah. like every meal, it's like <laughs> cheese and bacon and pork. And you know what I mean? It's, Wagyu A5, yeah. Wagyu beef. And then you're just like, oh God. It's the artery clogger buffet. Yeah. And it's we, we do scans day. every day. Like, oh, you're like 60% clogged. <laughs> like, you know. Oh, it's your suicide. It's your last cruise. It's your last cruise. Yeah. 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 But I do like the idea of like a fuck it cruise. Like literally it's any vice you want. So there's obviously gambling, eating, yeah. but then we add prostitutes. By the way. Hookers. Honestly, nothing better. And the fact that we, yeah. we like, you know, stigmatize this in our society. It's, it's so silly. Stupid. Like people want to fucking bust a nut yeah. and let them do it with like, let them pay for it. What is the fucking problem? I agree. What is the problem? Really? I don't know what the problem is. Especially Regulate if you're it. Consenting. Regulate it. Test it. Yeah. Keep it safe. Let people fuck. Let people fuck. Especially on a cruise. Yeah. 
on a cruise. And then, because you're on an open sea, so the rules don't apply. That's why they can gamble. So why can't they do prostitution cruise? Uh, no, I'd love to get milked on a cruise. Of course. Yeah. Everybody wants that. You know? And then and then they hand you an AK-47. Oh, my God. And you just shoot it off the fucking... As you're getting a BJ, you're like... Right? It's the best cruise of your life. And they hand you fireworks. And then you're you're like these are illegal in most countries, not here. And then you just threw fucking they, fireworks. You pass like this, and they hit the button, and it <laughs> slingshots you out in the ocean, right? And like, <laughs> no, this is just grief cruise. This yeah. is like a week of just like debauchery. But then yeah. at the end of the cruise, you have to go back to life. You have to clean it well, up. There's got to be something on the way in that kind of calms you. Right, like you have to have debauchery for like six days, and on the seventh day, there's like a prayer circle or something oh, to be like, right. all right, you know, yeah, like a meditation. Yeah, you need to like regulate. Yeah, that's what a good your point. system's going through. You know, okay, so like a detox. Yeah, like detox day. Yeah, day seven, it's like steam, yeah, sauna, you know. <laughs> the hookers still because the hookers are you there, should still come, but like. They're like, do you want, but maybe like day seven, you're like, I'm done coming. I don't have any come. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a lot of come. Yeah. There's so no come in these bowls. It happens. Sometimes you're like, I don't even want to come. Okay. How about on day seven, we cry. Crying would be good. Grief cruise. And yeah. then you finally, they break you down enough that you're ready to like actually feel your feelings. And the, and the hookers take off their makeup and you're like, oh no. <laughs> and that's, that's when you start crying more. <laughs> <laughs> There's that guy, he wrote ayahuasca. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah day seven's your ayahuasca he wrote, trip. He wrote Iowa, Scott. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you guys should see how he types these notes. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, but that would be dope. Yeah. But I think it would be, yeah, you, you want that like type of experience to, you know, reflect. Yeah. And be like, okay. There should just be a place you can go like when you're just at a fucked up point in your life. Yeah. We were just like, I don't know what, like well, everything's so crazy. Yeah. Let's just take this cruise and just do what the fuck we want. Yeah. And those are therapists, but there's also shrinks on board so you can talk and stuff. Yeah. Like therapy. If you, if you want to deal with your feelings. Mm, I think I'm going to stick yeah, to the buffet. Yeah. The guns. The no feelings cruise. <laughs> yeah. No feelings. Yeah. I think you're talking about a place in uh, Jamaica. I think so. Hedonism. Hedonism. <laughs> yeah. He knows so gross, so yeah. gross. Thank you for watching that highlight here from YMH Studios. That was a highlight or a clip, whichever word you prefer. You watched it, and there are so many more little bite-sized episode things. They're in, they're just click them. Maybe it's someone screaming or bleeding. Maybe it's just laughing at someone, making fun of them. 